Let me see the way. You can let her go. No. Come. The main thing we have to talk about the tools that she has on because with this collar she can actually slip out of it. You know, she can get out of this collar. It's not firm enough for her. Okay. No. So let me give her back to you for a second. But don't do it calmly, right there. Good. Let's put a different leash because she can slip, slip out of that one if she pulls back. So just put this over her head really quick. Okay, you can let go. Come. Good girl. Come. Yes. Come. All right, let's put the muzzle back on her because it's gonna. I'm gonna show you how to basically get her closer to people. She's fear. It's fear aggression, so she's on the defensive because of that. And then let's pass me the leash again. Good, good girl, come on, come on. Good girl, yes, it's okay, good. Good job, good girl, it's okay, come, yes, good job. Basically what I have to do is some more exercises with getting her to follow me around and then she's gonna get more comfortable. Come, come, yes, good job. Because she's insecure, when someone is approaching her, it puts her in a defensive place. You know, she feels like she needs to... The only thing that dogs know, naturally, run and hide, or they have to turn around and fight. So because these dogs are on leashes all the time, they are in, in houses and in yards, they don't have the ability to learn to even run and hide. They learn automatically to defend themselves. So that's why you see the reactivity, the, you know, the aggression that they're showing, the barking, lunging, because she's basically telling me back off, back off, back off. And as they get older, they become more confident that like, they have to go forward, they have to put up a fight. So that's why you see this dog getting worked up and ready to fight. So if, what happens is if you just correct her, tell her, no, stay, leave it. It's not enough because that fear that she has is really intense. So when you're doing those things, even with physical correction, like even the leash pops and stuff, it's not enough because she's so scared of what's approaching her. When you offer a reward like treats or ball or something, for a dog that is like really reactive, a little, a little bit more intense, it's because the fear is also that intense. So it's also not enough for them. They are more focused on the trigger that is coming towards them. So what I like to do to make it easier for the owners and the dogs is teach them a safe way around that. So. First of all, every time we go out, you're out there to train her. Because if you get distracted, this thing that I just explained to you, is gonna happen every single time. If she sees a dog or a person or anything that triggers her, and that's the same thing for all the dogs, you know, they see something coming towards them that they're scared of, they're gonna be defensive. Just tell him good job, but very calmly. Okay, as long as she's around everybody, that's good for her. and then walk calmly. So you're gonna come just in a straight line. When you get to this side, you're gonna turn around and stop, and then just wait for everybody to get there and do the same thing. <laughs> this is Artemis, she's five years old. Um, I got her uh, 2020, <laughs> when most people got a lot of dogs. Um, when I got her, she had a lot of healing going on, um, at like about five, maybe six inches of a, of a cut on her flank that had stitches that were still healing. So um, she was okay when I first got her, but then she's become very protective and reactive. Um, and then uh, fear aggression. Uh, she charged at my nephew. That was the first time I ever saw her get aggressive. And then it's just gotten worse over time. So I, I really wanna get her help. I don't wanna put her in a situation where she hurts someone or someone hurts her because they're scared of her. So I just wanna keep her safe. <laughs> I have to be more clear, more firm um, with her. Uh, I coddle her. I do. <laughs> I totally do. Um, so yeah, just learning the commands and then being consistent with her. And um, with her, there's going to be baby steps, I can already tell, but she's very smart. 
Um, and the thing I love about her is that she just wants me to be happy. <laughs> so if I'm telling her good girl, I know that's gonna be really helpful for her instead of me scolding her. Cause when we get back from a reactive walk, <laughs> she's just very sad and just hyped up and just it just, it doesn't feel right. So I don't want her to feel that way. <laughs> I want her to be happy. <laughs> Cause at first, like I wouldn't take her anywhere just because I couldn't get her used to certain places. But um, the collar, the collar's a big thing. I didn't realize how much of a communication tool it is for her. Um, Cause she will, she'll pull, 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 especially when she's uh, like scared or, or um, just trying to protect me and her. Uh, so the prong collar actually made a big difference. I'm not pulling her as, um, as forcefully, like she's getting it. So I think this is definitely gonna be a must for, for this, this little girl right here. <laughs>